Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos and I'm here today with the Division 2 Best Solo PvE Build Video with the Umbra Initiative Gear Set. So today I'm going to be trying out two different assault rifles on this build. I'm going to be running my Kingbreaker and then I'm going to be running the FAMAS 2010 with NSYNC. I want to see which one works better with the Initiative Build I got going on. So let's check it out. Kingbreaker first. Oh shit, I got confused. Dude, that Kingbreaker's a monster, bro. No joke. Alright, bro. Dude, that thing is a beast, dude. The Kingbreaker with Umbra Initiative is just insane. And the reason is, it's because the uh, you already got a really... Um, high damage on the Kingbreaker plus flatline. You don't need no stacks to make that buff activate. It just is. You know, you got that link laser on there and it just is where you got that flatline off top when you pulse your enemies. So you don't got to build no stacks but also it's got a high rate of damage just from the uh, assault rifle itself but a low rate of fire and what the Umbra gear set does is it increases the rate of fire by 30%. I'm going to show you guys right now what the Kingbreaker looks like with oh wait, that's it. Bro, 837 rounds per minute on a Kingbreaker, dude. That's what makes this build so insane with the um, Umbra Initiative. So like, let's go put in some work. Let's see. Oh, wait. Is this a rescue operation? Oh, let me go do this real quick. Why not, right? Okay, well, that wasn't a really good test. Let's go find something better to test it out on. I'm going to go find some, like, elite enemies and at least, or named enemies at least, you know, something I could test it out. If I had rogue agents, that would be even better. All right, let's see what we got. Do we got anything popping off over here? Nothing fun right here, but we got a resource convoy coming right here. We're going to go take this resource convoy, and then we'll hit that control point when we're done with that, so that way we could actually... You know, put some heavy work in with this build. So I showed you guys how the Kingbreaker is working, right? That shit's pretty powerful. On this resource convoy, I'm going to go ahead and take it out with the FAMAS 2010. Which the FAMAS 2010 has a higher uh, critical hit chance. Because I don't got damage to target out of cover on it. And it's got sync on it. Okay, so the Kingbreaker, you're getting a 20% damage from Flatline. And then 10% um, damage to target out of cover. From Moss 2010, you're getting 30% weapon damage from Instinct and uh, critical hit chance on it. So I don't know which one I like better. They're both really good, but the Famas 2010 already has a really high rate of fire. So with the Umbra mix in there, it becomes super high rate of fire, almost too fast. So we got a lot of shit popping off right here. So let's go test it out. All right, let's check out the rate of fire on the Famas. Yeah, 1,165 rounds per minute. That's pretty fast. And the thing with this is you do have to have the uh, your one of your skills hitting enemies too to activate that stack. Boom. 
but you can't deny it, bro. It's just, it's a monster too. So between these two weapons, you got a great assault rifle build right here. And you know we haven't even got into how to use the busy bee with this build. You really don't need it because the build is so powerful already. But if you're running legendary, busting out the busy bee is definitely going to help you put in some work. Take down elites, legendaries so quick, dude. With the busy bee on this build. Alright, where are these guys at? Come on. I'm trying to chase you fuckers down forever. There we go. They're coming this way. Wait, really? That was a little bit of a premature, uh... Alright. Well, shit, I guess I'm just gonna go... Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, let's build up that fire rate. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate my turret and put it over here. So I guess we'll just take down the uh, control point right here. There you go, bud. Really? Get over here. Oh shit, really? Well, that was quick. Alright, let's go on to this control point. Alright, now let's see the Kingbreaker. Right. Hey, damn it, I missed all those shots. Kingbreaker is definitely more powerful, there's no doubt about that. But is the FAMAS more effective because it has in-sync and you're also getting skill damage with it? These are the things that you want to think of. I'm not waiting for that armor regen. Let's just go ahead and get it right there. There we go.
Oh shit. <clears throat> and they got me finally. I was going hard right there though. That shit's so fun. I love it. Bye bye. Well, shit. I was really hoping for some rogue agent, but it's okay. So watch. We're gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna. So let's see again. Kingbreaker with full initiative rate of fire increase. Oh, now it's 833 rounds per minute, and then Famas is 1138 rounds per minute. But see, as you let the initiative die down, so does the stacks. You want to make sure it's charged all the way. Oh, well, it was 8.33. You seen that a second ago. It goes down as soon as you hop on there because... Well, because the... Uh, Stacks start dying down very slowly, but they do die down. So anyway, this is the build that I'm rocking. Which gun do you guys think is better? The FAMAS 2010 with in-sync on it, hitting enemies grants 15% skill damage, with and then hitting enemy with a skill grants 15% weapon damage. If you're shooting an enemy with the skill and a weapon, that's 30% weapon damage and 30% skill damage. So that's a 30% weapon damage buff on the FAMAS 2010, along with critical hit chance. So with the FAMAS 2010, our critical hit chance is 55% critical hit chance, 152 critical hit damage, well, it's actually 120 critical hit damage without, and then with the full stacks of initiative, it would be 220 critical hit damage. But it looks like we still have a few stacks right there. So let's check it out now. It hasn't gone back down. But anyway, um, when you first, when I first put the build together, that might be a little bit of a bug. It was 120 critical hit damage and 55% critical hit chance. We're at 1.5 mil armor on this build. And then with the Kingbreaker, uh, so 135k weapon damage. And then it'll be 830 rounds per minute roughly and then you got 10 percent damage to target out of cover and perfect flatline amplifies weapon damage by 20 percent to pulsed enemies so and that's activated with the um length laser that you have on the king breaker as long as you got technician specialization and then we're going to go down here to you got the memento backpack with weapon damage armor skill tier critical hit damage and kill confirmed we'll be getting um 30 weapon damage from this 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor regen for a 300 second long term buff and it refreshes when you grab new tags. You also get a short term buff and with this build it would be 15% weapon damage, 40% bonus armor and 10% skill efficiency for 10 seconds. Keep grabbing them tags, keep stacking them stacks and it's super, super overpowered. We got armor, critical hit chance and critical hit damage on the Umbra mask. We got weapon damage, critical hit damage on the Umbra gloves. Armor, critical hit damage on the knee pads, and weapon damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage on the chest piece, along with critical hit, 15% critical hit chance, 30% reload speed, and from the shadows in the light. While you're in cover, you gain 10 stacks per second, up to 50 stacks, but when you got the chest piece on like I do, 
it turns into gain 20 stacks per second up to 100 stacks. Each stack gives you 1% critical hit damage and 0.3% rate of fire increase. So that equals 100% critical hit damage and 30% rate of fire. That's awesome. 30% rate of fire. That's what makes the Kingbreaker so overpowered right there. Um, buff does not apply while you are shooting from cover. You do have to leave cover for this buff to activate. While you're out of cover, you will lose 2 stacks per second at normal speed and 1 stack per second if you're sprinting. But given 100 stacks, 2 stacks per second ain't really shit. Return to cover 5 seconds. You build your stacks all the way back up. Now also, while you're out of cover, you will generate another uh, buff, which is 10 stacks per second up to 50 stacks, 0.8 percent armor regen so that's 40 percent of your armor and when you return to cover you will consume those stacks and regenerate your armor and same as uh you know with the other one you do have and this one you have to be out of cover to generate the stacks and in cover to use them that's for the armor regen for the uh critical hit damage rate of fire you have to be in cover to generate it and out of cover to use it you guys get that right so yeah that's the unrooted in initiative uh the way you play with it and it's really fun because i think that it's really uh it keeps you busy man it's never boring with the umbra then we got the picaro's holster with armor skill haste critical hit damage and weapon damage on it that's like the baby memento right there we got the assault turret it's constantly spitting out shit it, it cools down pretty quick 16 percent or 16 second cooldown bro tier two we got the striker drone 16.7 second cooldown and tier two too so these put it in a little bit of work especially if you got in sync it's not super powerful but it is enough to kill some enemies but more than that it keeps your in sync active having two separate skills that are constantly shooting it works really good with in sync so that's why i like to keep it like that anyway you guys this is my build oh yeah we also got the technician specialization gives you an extra skill tier there and it gives you uh the linked laser which is really cool you know i like that a lot let me know what you guys think of it. We didn't even get to the Busy Bee, but yeah, the Busy Bee is a motherfucking beast right here. So this gives you, uh, each shot to a different target will build a stack of 20% weapon damage to 10 stacks max. Now the stacks um, are used when you switch back to your primary, it lasts for 10 seconds. So say you tag one target with your pistol, switch back to your primary, 20% rate of uh, uh, weapon damage increase for 10 seconds. Say you shoot three different targets, 60% weapon damage for 10 seconds on your primary. Super awesome, great on legendary, great if you're dealing with like a really, really heavy enemy with hella body armor, named enemies, rogue agents, all that shit. The Busy B will get it done, for real. Alright, you guys, thank you guys for watching. It's Tactical Chaos. You guys, uh, let me know which weapon you'd rather have. The Flatline on the Kingbreaker or the InSync on the FAMAS 2010. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Catch you on the next video.